we were, we were just talking about that. It, it, it's, a, it's a departure, but it's, it still feels very familiar. You know, I think that with this record, yeah, this is going to be for a lot of fans hearing it from track one. You're going to put this in and be like, whoa, what is this? But I think that when you put it up on your shelf with the other American Aquarium records and the whole discography, I think it's going to fit there nicely. It's just a different chapter of the same story. You know, it's 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 definitely a progression as far as it's it's a super musical record. Uh, my early records were very much uh, this rudimentary, you know, three chord rock storytelling, and it's really kind of evolved into. There's some musical parts on here that are just mind-blowingly cool, and it and it ranges from like the American rock canon to like folk songs to like we were talking about. It, it really incorporates. There's R&B tracks. There's like Latin tracks. It's it's. It's pretty crazy to watch, um, and, and when I say that, I think some American Aquarium fans might be worried that it's going. Oh, this ain't going to be my favorite band anymore. But I think it, it, I think they're going to find out these songs stack up against anything else I've ever written, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, man, I think the songs are so great that the, the treatment was all that had to be done. It's like these songs were written with care and expertise, laser precision, you know. Cases. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, man.